Weezy Allen. Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Lime VBS back with another video. Uh, I left Draco back in 2019, y'all. I'm just put it like that. <laughs> it's just simple as I can put it. But um, man, I got a banger for y'all today. Look at what did this nigga say? He had a banger. Did this nigga say he had a banger today? Yes, indeed, I do. So first and foremost, I want to give a shout out to my boy Universe for the video suggestion. If y'all want to see a video, man, just comment below. And um, maybe you'll get a shout out in the next video. Make sure y'all go fuck with him. He's a loyal subscriber. So as you can see, I do use an Xbox controller. Um, it's actually a wired Xbox controller. I like the wire better than the wireless for some reason. Don't quote me on it. Um, no buttons, pedals. That was my other controllers right there. And yeah. Can you just get to the video, Nika? We got better shit to do. All right, so now that all the format is out of the way, we gonna jump right into it, man. So first, we gonna start with defending. So if y'all can tell already, um, my main operator is Kavira. I've been running her for like three years now. And believe it or not, I do use the M12 sometimes. So if I do use it, I'm gonna run the red dot on it with the muzzle brake. I usually don't run red dot on guns, but it's pretty decent on this gun, I say. You get the job done at least. And I run the muzzle brake on this gun. I mean, you can run the silencer, but I mean, look at the damage right now, bro. Like, you run that silencer, then <laughs> it's just gonna tickle, bro. And you know I gotta use the shotgun, too. Ain't too much to say about this. I just put a laser sight on it. So let's get to the next. So you already know, we got Big Doc, man. Hey, I'm gonna put it like this. The real niggas use Doc and the lame niggas use Rook. It's just simple. And you already know we're using an ACOG on this because if you're not using an ACOG, then what are you doing with your life? Of course, we putting the vertical grip on this. I think this is the only grip you can put on this. And once again, we going with the muzzle brake. Me personally, I think the muzzle brake is the best. Um, some people use the flash hider. I don't know why you would use it, but hey. And there you have yourself a doctor. So next we're gonna check out Bandit. So first of all, we're gonna grab the MP7. And honestly, I like to run the reflex on that. But I mean, I like to run the holographic too. It's really just map dependent. And once again, a muzzle brake, of course. All right, so we're going to switch the scenarios up a little bit. This is my boy Vigil right here. I use him when I'm in the aggressive room. So we're going to check out the attachments. So when we're using the K1A, I like to use the reflex sight on this. Um, the reflex sight is just more accurate to me than the holographic. This is a pretty accurate gun, but I don't know. The reflex just gives me more of a pinpoint and precise, you feel me? So on the K1A, I actually use the compensator. And we are not using the vertical grip on this, y'all. We actually using the angle grip. Um, the angle grip just helps you aim in faster so you can be more aggressive. So continuing on what we was talking about, we're going to take a look at my boy Jaeger and check out the attachments we got for him. All right, so starting off with the scope, we're rocking the holographic sight on him. Like I said, sometimes I like to run the reflex, but right now we got the holographic. And this is quite new. Actually, we're running the extended barrel instead of the muzzle brake. Um, the extended barrel provides full damage over a longer distance range, so it allows basically more positions to take down your opponent whether you from a longer range or a shorter range all right now we're going to transition to the attacking side as you can see i run reflex on switch uh vertical grip all that good stuff i'm not going to show too much i just want to give y'all just a little gesture what type of attachments that i run
All right, so now we're gonna take a look at Edge and see what we got set up for our R4C. So this class setup is very similar to Jaeger's. Uh, she give me the options to take down opponents from longer distance or shorter distance. The extended barrel is a great attachment. I advise you run it if you have great um, recoil control. If you don't, then I recommend a compensator or a muzzle brake. For the final operator we're gonna look at, we're gonna take a look at IQ and the setup for her commando. All right, so if you remember correctly, then you will see that this class setup is very much similar to Vigil. Um, IQ is a very aggressive operator to me. Her gun does a hell of a lot of damage. The anchor grip helps me aim in faster when I come into gunfights. Um, just a very solid operator, three speed. Man, you can't go wrong. All right, y'all, let's take a brief look at my controls and sensitivity. Um, my vertical sensitivity is 16. Horizontal sensitivity is 100. Left dead zone, 15. Right dead zone, 15. Aim assist needs to be disabled. That's the only way you could warm up in the terrorist hunt. Um, aim down sights is 28. Gadget deployment and drone deployment advanced. I will talk about that in another video, but make sure you put it on advanced. Um, yeah, that's about it. Oh yeah, my controller layout is on default. So if you go check out my boy Jacuzzi's video, he showed ways to see if your sensitivity is right for you. This is another way, just throw your drone in the air and shoot it on the way down. Good job, Nika. I never expected you to get it first try, but Nika never failed to amaze me. I will let the siege guy know that this Nika is ready. Alright, so I got three terrorist hunt warm-up tips or factors that you need to take into mind. Um, crosshair placement is one of them. As you go through these clips, I'll show you where I practice it in a T-hunt and I use it in a real game. So there's no cap in my rep, y'all. Number two is pre-firing angles. Um, pre-firing coming angles aren't exactly made to get you kills, but they are just to scare your opponent and just to make them think that, you know, you know possibly where he's gonna be at or where he's at. So as you're gonna notice in this next clip, um, I pre-fire Jaeger on white stairs. Um, I pre-fired an angle that he was holding. It didn't kill him, but it hit him and he pushed off. So automatically I did what I was supposed to do. Uh, he really didn't want no smoke though. All right, tip number three, last but not least, just stop what you're doing and listen, man. Um, I feel like if you do this, you will see your KD start to increase and you will see the progression of the game. Um, as you can see in this clip, there's a lot going on, but I just stopped what I did and just started listening and I heard Doc. Did you learn anything today, Nika? If you did, make sure you like and subscribe, Nika. And don't forget, turn on the post notifications, motherfucker. You never want to miss a video, Nika.